Hello and welcome to another episode of our the FDM printed SLA printer. This time we build the VAT. Now first we need some 3D printed parts. We need the frame top, the frame base, the foil tensioner, 12 M3 by 16 screws, 18 M3 drive in nuts, 6 M3 washers, 6 M3 by 25 screws, some document covers, some double sided adhesive tape and an Allen wrench key. Let's start by applying the M3 drive-in nuts. There are recesses of the size and the shape of the drive-in nuts within the 3D printed parts, so it's relatively easy to locate where they belong to. It's not unusual that the drive-in nuts can only be applied half the way into the recess for the rest of the way, we have a trick. Yes, we're using a soldering iron to apply some heat on top of the drive-in nuts. So when they reach a certain temperature, they start melting the plastic material beneath and by doing so start sinking into the heated plastic and get a kind of hot glued into the plastic, welded into the plastic. Now comes the real nasty part. We need to cover the frame base almost completely into double-sided adhesive tape. First we cut a piece of the double-sided adhesive tape to the length of one of the sides of the vat. Then we apply the piece to the top of the long side of the bed. And we wrap the tape around so also the inclined side is covered.
By sliding the finger over the tape, we can sense the screw holes and set some marks so we can clean up the holes later. The marks that we set for the screw holes at the edges are also very helpful when it comes to make a clean, nice diagonal cut on the tape at the edge. Wherever we have excess of the tape, we have to cut it off and clean it up, especially at the ink lines of the frame. This is very important uh, because if we create valleys and tails of the tape, uh, this might have a negative impact uh, on the tension of the foil later on. And again, forget not to set some marks for the screw holes, so it becomes easier later on to clean up those screw holes. And of course we need to do this for all four sides of the bed. Now that we have applied the tape and cut off and cleaned up all the excess and also set some marks for the screw holes, it's time to clean up the screw holes.
Success, the ugly part of the work is done. Next we need some foil that we can wrap around our frame. I use document covers made out of polypropylene. They came in different flavors. We must make sure that we use those in crystal clear optic and uh, with a thickness of 110 microns. When we cut the foil to the required size, we need to take into account that it needs some extra material to wrap the foil around the whole frame. Before we can apply the foil to the frame, we need to remove, of course, the protective sheets from the tall sided adhesive tape. When we are applying the foil, we start with the upper side of one of the long sides of the frame. During your application, always keep the tension by pulling the edges apart. Wrap the foil around the ink line of the starting side to the ink line of the opposite side and then again wrap it around to the top side, the straight side. And always keep the tension of the foil by pulling it straight. Press the foil against the tape to make sure that it makes good contact. Also if there are some air bubbles, just squeeze them out.
the bigger the contact area between the tape and the foil is, the better will be the adhesion and the better will be the ability to keep the tension. Like before with the tape, also with the foil, you need to cut off and clean up excess for the very same reason. To prevent unevenness, hates and valleys that would have a negative effect on the ability to keep the tension. And of course we need to continue with the short sides of the vet to finalize our application of the foil.
Okay, now the fun part begins. We screw together all the bits and pieces. For easier application of the screws, it makes sense to cut the tiny slits into the foil over each and every screw hole. Next we put the frame top on top of the frame base and secure it in place with the 12 and 3 by 16 screws. While we screwed the frame top on top of the frame base, we lost some good tension of the foil that we already had. This is quite normal and uncritical, because in the very next step, when we apply the tensioner, we get back more than before on tension of the foil. And just like so, we put the tensioner inside the frame base frame top assembly and secure them in place by the use of the 6 and 3 by 25 screws together with the 6 and 3 washers.
tighten these six M3 by 25 screws, you not only close the gap between the tensioner and the frame top frame base assembly, but at the same time, the tensioner pushes again the foil and by doing so rises the tension of the foil. In this close-up we can see quite well how the tensioner exceeds the frame base and by doing so creates tension on the foil. Compared to the predecessing designs of my VATS, this one is much more capable of keeping the tension. Well, that's all for today. I hope you found this video about the new VAT design and their build instructions interesting. And also hope to see you next time, maybe with another episode about the FTM printed SLA printer.